A Fox News alert. The new year marking a new start for the Congress with members set to be sworn in over the next few days. This is the race for the Speaker of the House now takes a brand new and unexpected turn. Joining us now with an exclusive announcement is Texas Congressman Louis Gomer. Congressman, we're grateful that you're coming on this morning uh, with this announcement. Oh, so, on, so what is it that you have to tell us? Well, uh, we've heard from a lot of Republicans that, gee, I'd vote for somebody besides uh, Speaker Boehner, but nobody will put their name out there as running, so there's nobody else to vote for. Well, that changed yesterday when my friend Ted Yoho said, I'm putting my name out there, I'll be a candidate for speaker, and I'm putting my name out there also today to be another candidate for speaker. All people are welcome, unlike what some of the establishment people are saying, that, gee, if somebody votes for a candidate besides Boehner on the floor, Pelosi could win. That's hogwash. The rules are you have to get a majority of all those votes cast for an eligible person, which is any adult American citizen. So there's no chance of Pelosi winning as long as 59 Republicans don't vote present. If they vote for a person, whether it's me, Ted Yoho, anybody else that gets in between now and Tuesday, and we have 29 people vote for somebody besides Speaker Boehner, right. then we get to a second round or a third round, and eventually the goal is second, third, fourth round, we have enough people that, that say, you know what, it really is time for a change. You deceived us when you went to, to Obama and Pelosi to get your votes for the Cromnibus. You said you'd fight amnesty tooth and nail. You didn't. You funded it. And then you took the only hostage that Obama would like for us to shoot. It was a terrible strategy, and it follows a, a, a number of years of broken promises. It's time for a change. And a poll came out Friday saying 60 percent or more of Republicans in the country that voted in the last election, well, including independents that voted Republican, they want a change. They want a different speaker. And then when you find out new numbers this morning that the poll indicates 25 percent of Republicans are ready to walk. They're not going to vote Republican in 2016 if we don't have a big change then it's time for a change. Yes. Now, I was assured by many of our members, oh, Louie, you don't have to worry. This was August of 2010. If we get the majority, Boehner will only serve one term. He will not serve more than one term. Well, they were wrong. I was right. It would take a fight to change speakers, and that's what it's time to so, do. So, and you've just joined that fight this morning. You've just announced it here. That's right. If so we've got at least two candidates, and hopefully, uh, well, there may be more. Right. So between the Republican candidates, we get 29 people to vote for somebody besides the current speaker. Yes. We have a second ballot so and a third ballot if elected, and a fourth. If elected speaker, how will you be different from John Boehner? Well, first of all, we will fight amnesty tooth and nail. We will use the powers of the purse. We'll have better oversight. We will fight to defund Obamacare, and we have positive solutions. And Paul Ryan and I are very similar on this, health savings accounts. We've got solutions that will return power back to the people, have a doctor-patient relationship again. We'll get back to regular order. Now, in 2010, Boehner and other leaders said, if you put us in the majority, we will have time to read the bills. That hasn't happened. We saw that with the Cromnibus again. If I'm Speaker, there will be plenty of time to read the bills. We'll get back to appropriating, and we will go through regular committee process. So everybody, every representative from both parties will have a chance to participate in the process and not have a dictator uh, running things, deciding who's the chairman, who gets what committee, right. what bills come to the floor. It will be regular order where people can participate and have their representatives so, represent them. So you, I mean, there is a lot of bitterness among Republican voters about the failure of the Congress to stop and to defund right. uh, the, the president's amnesty. Why, what's, quickly, what is your explanation for why the current speaker uh, didn't do what you think he should have done? Well, he was more concerned about passing a bill than he was with uh, leading his conference. And so maybe some of those people that 
that he got to vote for his uh, cromnibus bill that funded Obamacare and funded uh, the amnesty for a while. Maybe some of those Democrats that he got to vote for him then will vote for him for speaker. If so, then he can still win speaker, even if 29 of us vote uh, for somebody besides him. But it's time for a change. It is really time for a change. Louis Gilmer just announcing on this show that he is running for Speaker of the House. We're going to be following this really closely, and I hope you'll come back on, Congressman. It's always a pleasure to have We'd you. We'd love to. Love talking to you. Thanks so much.